the sunshine and the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jusa. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing a huge makeover to my bedroom. I am turning it in from a flat white sterile builder's grade bedroom to a more chic warm inviting style i am so excited because it's been done for quite some time and i'm so excited to share with you guys my first sponsorship yes my first sponsorship i am so excited to work with this company because i purchased their items before and you guys it's a one I am so excited to show you guys and I'm going to let you know what I did every step of the way. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the description bar below. I'm going to try to link everything that I am able to and we're going to get straight into this video. In this makeover, I am going to be revamping my furniture. I did not purchase any new furniture. I am trying to utilize everything that I have. Purchased. So you're going to see me do um, quite a bit of DIYs. And then you're going to see me do a beautiful wall accent that I am shocked that I was able to do. But I did it. And you're going to see this room just transform into something beautiful and something cozy. So go ahead and continue to watch. And I'm going to see you in the next clip. So this is how the room has looked the past six years. Very, um, nothing much to it. Very builder's grade. I, this is the furniture that we've had for the entire time. And I just wanted to spruce it up and give it a little facelift. What I'm going to want to do to prep this furniture is to degrease everything. So I am wiping it down with this crud gritter or crud solution and this is just to clean the surface and get it prepped for painting with the side tables i wanted to tape off the mirrored portion because i didn't want any paint or solution to get on this section so i went ahead and taped those off so before you start painting you definitely want to go in with a good primer i got this shellac primer from zinser you can get this at your local hardware store and this is supposed to let the paint stick to your foundation so the furniture that i'm putting this on it's more like press it has a laminated surface and then the other one has a painting surface so i wanted to prep and make sure that the paint gets on it very well so i'm gonna go in with this benjamin moore pashmina love it love it love it love it this paint color is so creamy so neutral it's a nice warm beige in my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead and apply that it applies so effortlessly and i as i'm putting it on i am just falling in love with the shade and how it looks How come the stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder tables i decided to go for something moody so we are going to go in with the sherman williams backdrop color and paint the side 
tables, this beautiful brownish color, and the first application gave off a nice wood texture and it actually looked like something that you would get from Pottery Barn but I wasn't going for that look so I did do a second coat. So for both furniture pieces I did apply two paint coats to it. Once that has dried I went and applied the polyurethane water base um, coating and this is going to set and cure the paint that you already applied. I went ahead and applied it with a brush, but then went in with a foam roller. That, that really smoothed out the application of it. How come the trees get sun dressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? So being that I decided to do an accent wall, I decided to go ahead and paint the entire room. And I painted this in the color White Stone from Bears, which is comparable to the Sherman Williams Alabaster. And went ahead and just did one coat to the entire room. Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes, until winter comes? So the showstopper is going to be this Mountain Road from Sherman Williams and it is this beautiful sage color in which I've been telling you guys I have been obsessed with and thought it would be such a beautiful accent color for this project. Until winter comes, it really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. I got some MDF boards from Lowe's and that is what's going to give me that board and batten look that I am going for. You do want to make sure that you are cutting it as you go because I found out that my wall is not the same height but um, it, it, it was off a couple of inches. So I only used a handheld saw which was super efficient for this project and very cost efficient as well. Now I am going to go ahead and seal everything off with some caulk and what I am doing is just making sure that I have a good groove so that the bead is nice and smooth. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away and show us where we are? Really makes me wonder and got some paintable outlet covers from Amazon. I'll leave that link below. And this is just to make sure that the accent wall just looks so seamless. It would look odd if you had white outlet covers against the sage colored wall. So I opted to get this so it could be seamless. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. As you guys saw, I am finished with the wall and I really love how it looks. So I put back the furniture I want to show you guys how it looks so far. Don't mind the bed, that's going to be changed. So this is what we have so far and I am obsessed to look at this. So this color actually brings out 
some character to the room. I mean, I should have done this long ago because I love how it just gives the room some character. Now this light. I am not a fan of the light with the room any longer because it has these crystal detail coming down it. So now I'm looking for a more um, a more ceramic lamp, like with a jug base. I do like how it's coming along so far. Let me show you the other piece that I just did. I wanted to bring some warmth to the space because I definitely was so over the white. So these knobs are the knobs that actually came with this dresser. We've had this dresser for about six years when we moved in. So I am, I originally was not a fan and I now remember why I was not a fan because yeah, these are not cute. Not cute. They were originally silver because the um, dresser was white. They were originally silver and I did some rubbing buff, but I'm not feeling it. So, so I went ahead and got some knobs from Amazon and let me show you guys the style that I got. So this is the design I opted for. So it is actually this beautiful gold brass circular knob. Okay, so these are the knobs that I got from Amazon. And then these are the knobs that came with it. I think I like the Amazon one better. So this was what was on there originally. It looks really good now that it's painted. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I do like how they look, they're more sleeker than the other one with the ridges on it. So I am going to keep this. So let's get to the next item that we are going to up, update. <laughs> Let me show you guys the curtain rods and the curtains that I'm going to go ahead and put up. Now I did get some rod rings and I got this from Amazon. So I got the same, I got the rod in the same exact color as the hooks the rings and this is so gorgeous i love the warm it's now this color is called warm gold and i just love how not too gold it looks it's it's a beautiful brass color so yeah we got that and then we and then for the curtains i got these curtains from ikea the material oh this is going to be so nice this is the same color as the sheets that I have Hey guys, so I wanted to thank Book Linen for kindly sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you do not know who Book Linen is, they are a luxury bedding company that provides you hotel quality sheets and bedding, but at an affordable price. By the time you open up that packaging, you can tell the quality of the sheets that you're getting. I actually purchased my first set actually a couple of months ago and I am obsessed. I got tired of purchasing bedding that did not have that quality. It was thin, it wasn't, it wasn't the vibe. So I actually opted to get these book linen sheets and since then I have been obsessed. The more you actually wash it, the softer it gets, which is crazy. My husband is a hot sleeper. Opposed to myself, I am not. However, the sheets actually keep us both at a comfortable temperature. So I thought that that was A1 sealed and delivered. I personally recommend the Lux Satine Hardcore Bundle Set. I currently have those on my bed and they are amazing. They have like a slight sheen to it, which gives off that luxurious look and that comes with your
your duvet cover, your flat sheet, your fitted sheet, and four pillowcases. So although you can get these beautiful pieces individually, I definitely recommend getting the bundle pieces because all of that is with a 25% savings. They do have 20 plus colors and patterns that will accommodate anybody's style. And I did notice you're able to mix and match them because they are so aesthetically pleasing and the patterns are so on point. I actually got my eye on the pinstripe one, which I think is so classic. So with the seasons changing, you need to be changing your sheets. This is the perfect time to get your set because Brooklinen is having their epic Labor Day sale where you can get 20% off on all Brooklinen items and that is stacked on top of the deal that you're already getting. So go ahead and head on over to Brooklinen and get to shopping now because these deals are insane. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly Starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back Gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly
Starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way 